started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it procedural skill station, kindly tell me how would you proceed yes. to take the uh, FNSP for this patient? Yes. First of all, I will do the intro introduction. My name is Dr. Hava, one of the surgical doctor here. Uh, may I ask your name? What and is age, your please? candidate number? Uh, my candidate number 3598, candidate okay. number. Yes. And then I will ask if patient is, uh, I will ask the patient name and age yes. is Tina, age and I will also. 66 yes, years and, old. Okay, I will check the papers of the patient and match the wristband to the papers. And I yes. uh, I will ask you that uh, today I want to perform a needle test to your uh, thing in front of the neck. Uh, yes. Is it okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any uh, uh, allergy to any medication? No. Uh, are you taking any uh, uh, blood thinning drug, blood thinner drugs, or medication. do you have latest allergy? No. Medication? No. no. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I will properly expose the patient by unbuttoning, and then I will. Uh, examine the swelling either it is pulsatile or which type of structure is it then i will gather the equipments and uh, uh, gather the equipment in which all these syringe slides i will label the slide with the patient name and and needles 21 gauge 5 cc syringe alcohol swab and the fixator and uh, after that i will wash my hand and wear the sterilized gloves i will uh, clean the area and drape the area and then uh, uh, I, I am tricking uh, your uh, swelling. Uh, if you are uncomfortable, then I can give you the local anesthesia, but it is uh, not good, local anesthesia. What do you want? You just go ahead. Course. Go ahead. Then I will pass the needle in the swelling and uh, I will pass multiple uh, sides of the multiple planes in the swelling. And then I will aspirate it with negative pressure uh, multiple times. Then I will withdraw the needle and I will place a gauze piece on the needle. And if the assistant is present, then I will, he will help me. Then I will, uh, uh, I will remove the needle and fill the air in the uh, syringe and then reapply the needle. Then I will, uh, the slides are there and I will uh, spray the contents on multiple slides and then I will immediately put the fixator, fixator on it and one slide is without the alcohol fixator. Then I will uh, 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 I will uh, tell the patient that I have completed I have completed uh, this uh, procedure. Thank you very much and uh, uh, I will dispose of the shop and uh, I will tell the uh, I am telling you that you may have pain and some problem related to this procedure, and I will give you uh, painkillers. Okay, is it okay? Yes. Uh, do, can do you, you want to uh, ask since uh, it's like virtual, I cannot see you. So can you explain how did you take the sample? Yes. Uh, how did will, you place the needle? Yes, if you can will, explain it to me. Please. Yes, I will uh, pass insert the needle in the swelling. In, How? in one go, in one in go, one then, go and, and then what angulation? I will change my angles of the syringe in different okay. direction and negative negative pressure will be applied. So multiple time with negative pressure, multiple plane sample will be uh, 
how, collect it in the syringe. Yes, how the site of lesion uh, matters. Or most prominent part, I will it? insert. Yes. Most okay. prominent part, I will insert the needle in the most prominent part. Uh, and if it is uh, it is liquid, then I will put the liquid in the container. Otherwise, it is in the spray in the needle. Then I will dispose of the sharp. I will uh, explain the patient. I will put the notes, and uh, uh, I, I have completed the procedure. Thank you. Okay, you've given. Uh, what else you have uh, done? Uh, you will document the procedure. You will write yes. the date and time. You will write yes. the indication why you are doing it. You will uh, write if you have taken the consent. You have taken, and you will tell about the complications or difficulties if you have encountered any. Did you encounter any? Uh, no, I I do not uh, encounter any. A problem. So I will uh, just write down the patient name, date, and complication consent. I will write down all the things in the paper. Okay. Can you tell paper me what are the be... yes? Paper Continue will be please. present at that time. Yes. Paper yes. will be present. Yes. Would and I will show that I am. I will write these all these things. I will show it. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the possible cytological results of FNAC fine needle aspiration that you can expect? Yes, it is of either uh, it is either benign, malignant, inadequate uh, sample, or equivocal result or suspicious malignancy. There are five type of results. Very good. Okay, considering that this lesion, uh, painful swelling was on the front of the neck, just pose. It's a lesion or a lesion from a thyroid gland. So, can you please tell me what are the types of thyroid carcinomas? that you know of? Yes, these are the papillary carcinoma, follicular carcinoma, medullary carcinoma of thyroid, and anaplastic carcinoma, and maybe lymphoma. In which kind of thyroid carcinoma, FNAC, fine needle aspiration, is not conclusive? Follicular carcinoma. Yes, why? Because it, uh, it needs the vascular and the uh, capsular invasion that cannot be detected by FNAC and we have to take the histological sample. Good. What are the possible complications that can occur as a result of you taking the fine needle aspiration right now? It is hemorrhage, maybe hematoma, infection. And if according to site, I, uh, if it is uh, any other site, breast and skin lesion, maybe rarely pneumothorax can occur. Mm, not pneumothorax. Just suppose that you are taking, because you will take repeated sections, uh, samples. So just suppose if it is carcinoma. So there could be... Seeding, seeding, seeding of the tumor. Yes. 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 Which, is, uh, which is rare, but yes. can occur. Can <coughs> occur. So, all right. If we can look at, you introduced yourself, you confirm the patient's identity. So you'll get two marks for that. You'll get two marks for your professionalism. You'll get two marks for your verbal consent. Uh, one mark for examination of the mask. You did not, you forgot to examine the mask. Uh, then you have to check for the pulsations and the local structures. One mark is for that. One mark is for ha washing hands and preparing the skin. You did do that, so you'll get the mark for that. You'll get one mark for offering the patient the local anesthetic that you did, uh, right. And then you have to, you get two marks for selecting appropriate equipment, two marks for carrying out the procedure appropriately that you did, two marks for preparing the slides in the correct manner, like multiple labeled and six. Very good, okay. Explain to the patient your post procedure and the post procedure you get. Uh, yeah, that you will not get any marks for that. Uh, you warn the patient about the risks of infection and hematoma, and you have to answer any relevant questions regarding is it cancer. You get two marks for these two. So here, I, I think you have only missed one thing: examining the mask. And the checking for the pulse pulsations, like where you have to do 
So if you have to take this uh, fine needle aspiration in the neck, in the front of the neck, which pulsations would you consider? Retransmitted pulsation from the carotid artery yes. or carotid artery and the uh, and the if there is a uh, thyrotoxicosis then it can be pulsated pulsating yes that could be this, pulsating in thyrotoxicosis and if there is related to the carotid artery all right then, okay uh, how did you after taking the sample what did you do at the end you have to apply a dressing to the wound yes yes I, I will apply the dressing on the wound. A uh, small dressing. A small dressing, simple, yes. Simple, Did you simple prepare dressing. the slides? Yes, prepare the slides. If alcohol fixation, I have done it. Yes. Good. And and it to the yeah. laboratory. Good. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, madam. Thank you.